Hey YouTube, it's me back again. Uh, this is an update video of my uh, of my train layout. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail here of what's all going on. The lead locomotive here is uh, Pro 202551. Seen this in a couple other videos. Now with upgraded lighting. Followed by Atlas GP7, 376, and 378 is also Atlas, along with Broadway Limited SD40-2. All four of these units are equipped with Tsunami to sound decoders. Flat cars here, with John Deere bulldozers, or whatever you want to call them, are Athern, ready to roll. And... Last but not least is uh, Athrum Blue Box, two length caboose. All my Extended Vision cabooses are Athrum, ready to roll, and some Blue Box. Here we got waiting is uh, SD40 T 2 tunnel motor. Is an Athrum ready to roll with uh, Tsunami Sound. This unit is unique in that it's got actually two decoders in it, one for lighting. And then uh, one for the sound. It's got the beacon, um, the flashing upper lights. I'm not. I don't model the Denver real brand, so and uh, the ditch lights. Yeah, the headlight. Here's an SC45 X Burlington Northern 6491. Both these are equipped with Tsunami sound decoders. MP15 Athern Genesis with an MRC sound decoder, which someday when I got the money it's going to get some money sound because I can't stand MRC. Right in front, this is where uh, my diesel facility is going to go. I have a uh, caboose track to call cabo two cabooses and uh, one maintenance way equipment, here being a Jordan spreader. This is, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. This is for filling up the fuel tank, this track here. Uh, maybe you take a box car as in for some supplies to work on locomotives. There's going to be a sanding tower and a refueling facility here. I plan on getting a 90 foot turntable made by Walters Cornerstone. And this is going to be where the roundhouse is going to go. Also made by Walther's Cornerstone. I wanted to get the 130 foot turntable, but I didn't have the room. These here are all my empty grain cars. Uh, note that my tracks are very close together, but I kind of like it. Cram more cars in. And then on this side here is where all the ones are going to be filled. Great elevator is a Walther's Cornerstone building uh, built by my dad. A little movie mosey on over here. This is my lift out, which has been recently completed. Still got a couple bugs to work out, but it works. That's the main part. Here we got. Atlas GP7381 with Athern. I think I did say that was an Atlas. Is an Atlas GP7 followed by an Athern Genesis MP15. Both these are equipped with uh, sound recorders. And I'll just duck under the lift out. Up front and personally, have my Sioux line. Caboose track. And it says Sulin right in the office there. Back here we got maintenance way equipment. We have a Russell snowplow, a scale test car, a crane with a flat car and caboose. Back there we have locomotives that are waiting on uh, to go in the facility. Both these are on toggle switches so that I can turn them on and off. The 
Ace is a bathroom genesis, by the way. The tsunami sound. The reason why I put them on toggle switches is so that I can turn them on and off without eating up too many amps. Here we got two Atlas GP40s equipped with QSI sound decoders. And they have a string of uh, cement cars being filled by Inland Cement Company. Here we have some diesels getting ready to get uh, worked on in the facility here. Take a sneak peek in here. You can see the overhead crane and the flashing light is simulating that someone's welding. Over here we got my depot. So far all my structures are Walther's Cornerstone. This is the Whitehall kit. And over here we got my switching yard, which is being tend to by Sioux Line X Milwaukee Road 2064 with the tsunami sound. Up front here is the team track. Back here is uh, for the lumber yard. This is just a siding. This is the runaround track. Back here I plan on having some sort of like uh, cannery or something. Along with back here where these three boxcars are sitting. Up front I'm going to have an ethanol plant. Back here I'm having a kind of like steel distribution center using uh, Walter's Corner Shop Backshop. And then up right behind that is going to be a little scrap yard. That's about it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If there's anything that you guys want to see closer or more in detail, let me know. I'll make a video on it when I get time. I know it's been a while and I apologize, but I've been doing a lot of work on the layout. So that's about it. Uh, everyone have a good new year and I'll see you on the flip side. Talk to you later.